and sweet. Get on this thing. Original time of the run is 0505. They found two white females, one wrapped in a shower curtain, lying on a bathroom floor, stabbed six times in the body. Got a colored female strangled with a stocking and her guts cut out. One lying on the bed, her throat slashed. Laceration on her back, she looks like she probably bled out. There's a possible rape on that one. Well, Marty, he was a clean son of a bitch. One colored female was found under the bed. She's still alive. But if she's not one of the dams, she can't talk. Anything else I should see? Yeah. Come on, come on, Walt. Look at that stand there looking dumb. What is it? So I got a weapon and a note. Man, this guy's a weird. We've got to get this taken care of. One more picture. One more picture. Man, this guy's a weird. We've got to get this taken care of. Yeah, this dude can't count. What's your opinion of this note, Sergeant? I haven't got one. Haven't got one. There's nothing to base it on. No fingerprints, no clues. Just a note that says one down, 13 to go, and signed Mac. Well, we've got three dead girls, not one. Not a single criminal in our files uses this MO. No witnesses, nothing. Chief, I've got every spare man on this case. There's just nothing we can do. At least until that girl comes around and can be questioned. And when's that? Well, the doctors say 24 hours, maybe more. What's your plan now, Sergeant? I think I'll go home. Savage and Wilson have put in four 15-hour days this week, Chief. And then what, Sergeant? Well, Chief, I just might get late. Chief on your ass again? No. Hey, you want to catch a couple of beers tonight? No. Man, you don't even know who I called. But you didn't say anything on the phone. Man, I didn't have to. <laughs> We've got an understanding. That kind of understanding come along every day. My girl has to have everything laid out for her like a cookbook. That must make for some good eating. <laughs>
Funny he didn't wire it to the ignition. Must have used a kicker or a treble device. Jar it and presto, you're a crown. Well, none of it makes any sense. Get your feet off the desk. I sure hope to hell you come up with something, Savage. The mayor wants answers to a pot full of questions, and the chief's tired of putting him off. Well, I'm sure those two little kids are going to be very happy to know that their mayor's all pissed off because he's not getting any answers. You watch yourself, Savage. Why a bomb this time? And a knifing before that? Well, at least there's one tie in. He signed all the notes Mac. Yeah, but why a bomb? And right out in the open. He's just too lucky. There should be witnesses. Where the hell are they? Frank, the chief, wants me to put another team on this case with you. What the hell for? I don't know. I suppose he figures he'll get quicker results that way. He didn't say. Well, do me a favor, huh? If you do, you better tell him to keep out of my face. Dr. Bernard, report to the registrar. Dr. Bernard. Hi. Hi. Homicide. I just want to come down and, you know, kind of rap with you for a while and try to find out what happened the other day. They pick you because you're black? No, baby. They pick me because I'm good. Okay, listen, uh, I want you to try and tell me, you know, as much as you can remember, what happened. Well, we got off work around 11. That's about the usual time you get off. Now, uh, the officer did say that you, you were found under the bed, right? Right. Were you able to get a good look at this guy? The only thing I can truthfully say is he was... Black. Was that all she could say about him? No, she gave a general description. A medium build, about 5'10 or 6 foot, afro. Wicked laugh. <laughs> oh, that's going to take us far. You're trying to say we all look alike, Wilson? No. Just at night, sir. <laughs> hey, why do you smoke those damn things? Because cigarettes are white. One more percent. Hey, uh, pull up down there at the news store. I want to ask Peggy a few questions. Well, you keep selling this stuff, Peg. I might have to come in here for other reasons someday. Cut off your valuable supply line of information. <laughs> you might be black, Frank Boyd, but you ain't stupid. Anything on these murders? They sure are stirring up a ruckus. Folks are downright scared of this joker. Any ideas? Ain't anybody I know. He's too smart to fool around with the people I deal with. 
This Joker's giving you a bad reputation, Frank boy. You better grab his ass. If you hear anything from the boys, let me know. Huh? Well, sure. Uh, say, Frank boy, that's uh, five bucks. Charge it to the pussy posse. Bitch. Here you go, Junior. Something to help you get your jollies. <laughs> to Unit 202. Have a 10.03 at the alley between Franklin and Preston reported as a gang fight. Handle code 2. Call 670 radio. We'll back up. Hey, Junior, let's go see what's happening. Place. Sure as hell sounds like it. Come on, Seven, fetch a door to shuffle your feet. Yeah, I'm a mess of savage. I like coming. Sloppy seven. Oh, come on, Sam. If the dude's been holding out on us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Over there. Look, yeah. Just drop your things. I'm going to have to come over and give you girls a hand, ladies. Oh, oh Karen, touch oh, yourself. Thank you. Good. Good. Yeah. Right, thank you. I sure am glad you came, officer, because I was just about to. <laughs> ladies! Back against the wall. Come on. Move it! What are you going to do with that gun? Blow his brains out. If these sights were filed down, I'd shove it up your ass and pull the trigger. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, before I take you downtown and book you. Book me? Yeah. What about these dogs? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait a minute now. Come on. Now, as I was saying, before I take you downtown and book you, I want to know why you've been disappointing these upstanding ladies of the night. $50 a night, you got them. Damn ass, nigga. Remember, whatever you say might be used in court against you, ladies. I don't think the judge would take too highly to your language. Who do you think you come to at night, Savage? Well, pimp. Hey, I ain't saying nothing till I see my lawyer. I sure haven't used this thing on anybody lately. Uh, yeah. see, Use it. It's just that the big man wanted yeah. more. Yeah. No, I got to get more out of there. Otherwise, they're going to shoot my ass off. It's better than it's hey, by the way, Pimp, where's the big man? He done know. Oh, the big man. Yeah, he's yeah, the big, big man. Where is the big man? Hmm? Look, uh, okay. I know my rights. What's and right? cop or no cop, I'll get <laughs> Might just start with uh, refusing to fight and uh, make up some more. Okay? All right. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> 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 
poor dude. He's going to be lucky to get us a Morgan one. Yeah. <laughs> Man, they're going to turn him every way but loose. <laughs> Detective 23, we have a 214 and building under construction at 1412 Main Street. Suspect believes still in the area. Hi, Frank. Charlie. Found this next to the body. Looks like the killer used it to crush the man's head. Hi, Waldo. Hey, what do you say, Frank? What you got on this so far? Yeah, man, give me a chance. I just got here. I know how slow you are, for Christ's sake. Yeah, I may be slow, Rock, but I'm ahead of you. Marty was driving. Have a check for fingerprints. Let me have a report as soon as possible. VTU gets here tonight. It'll be on your desk in the morning. The radio says something about a suspect in the area. Yeah. I don't know if I'd call him a suspect or not. He might be a witness. Where is he? Over here. You see anything? Sure, Dad. Concrete? Pipes? Did you see who it was that killed that dude over there? No. No. I didn't see nothing. I'm my own business. Oh, Christ. Anybody else? Not that we've been able to find. Where's the note? How'd you know about that? It doesn't matter. Just show me the note. <sighs> Three down, 11 to go. Mac. Well, at least the dude's establishing an M.O. How do you figure that? Just different weapons, different people, different locations, different times. Nurse is killed with a scalpel. Contractor's family blown up. Construction worker killed with a sledgehammer. It all fits. One hell of a strange ammo. Oh. Where do we go from here? Frank, did any of those nurses have an awake? No, I don't know. I have to check the file. Take a look at this. What the hell is it? Black synthetic hair. Where'd you find that? From beneath one of the girl's fingernails. I guess it to be from a black afro wig. Mike, did you stop in? Won't be here for long. It wouldn't be too much trouble, Savage. Tell me, where were you all morning? Oh, we've been down at the lab. What for? Came to a very brilliant conclusion. Yeah? Yep. Mac has been killing all his victims with tools of their own trade. Anything else? Nope. Four hours, and all you come up with is that? Yep. Well, I've come up with another murder on a farm out near J-Town. Decapitation. Oh, yeah? Dude must have lost his head. When the hell are you going? Take a leak. I'm not finished. Even lowly detectives have to answer when nature calls. <laughs> what are you laughing at? So is the city if you don't get off my case. And let me cash this nigga who's making a fun house out of your department. Are you sure he's black? I'm not sure of anything. Who the hell he is, he's one smart mother. There's three and four for one. Which one? I've just never known a black man to kill like this before. Interesting observation coming from you. Have they run the make on this last victim, the farmer? Do up this afternoon. Have them make a copy for me. I want to take it home with me. I can't study down here with all the racket in this place. Picky, picky. You're goddamn right. How's Marty working out? He's good. I just hate to see the good die young. He can handle himself. The only problem I see is he's picking up your habits. That's bad.
your boy. What you want with me? I ain't done nothing to you.
seem to mean something to me. Or at least I think I've seen them before. I just don't know where. You know, that son of a bitch has been doing me in. Well, you're not gonna quit. I don't know. He's getting sloppy, though. He's losing his patience. He's gonna slip. Have I got time for a piece of apple pie? What? You gotta be kidding. I don't know why I eat with you. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, Lieutenant. Go over and sit in the corner. Hey, Lieutenant. You waiting on a call from your bookie or what? Will you tell your loudmouth understudy to shut his mouth before I put him on latrine duty? You drink any more of that coffee, Savage, you're gonna piss in your pants when he calls. So I'll change my pants. When who calls? Savage, 3 p.m. Wednesday, be by your phone. No jive. Mac. You do strange things to people, Frank. Don't I, baby? I'm glad you two loonies take this so la di da I hope you both have other trades you can go to if we don't capture this creep. Savage, answer the phone. Homicide. Let me talk to Savage. You got him. Well, hello, Savage. It's been a long time. Has it? Yeah, it has, you stupid nigger. Too long. If you're tracing this call, pig, it won't do you any good. I ain't gonna talk long enough to help you out. Then quit wasting my time. Shut up, you black pig! I don't wanna hear any old jive shit, I'll let you know. Now listen, mother. Just cause you're so stupid. I still don't know who I am. Not a big one there. Just a little bitty one. You ready, boy? I'm ready. Here's your clue. November, 1971. And Savage, I want to compliment you on your choice of women. say? November 1971. What? November 1971. I think you might be right. Oh, what the hell does that mean? I don't think the dude's black. It's obviously something you know that no one else does. Otherwise, why call you? Hey, Robert. I want a guard gun, my lady. What for? I don't know yet. Do you have any idea what that date signifies? No. Where are you going? Change my pants.
What's this all about? I haven't got any money on me. I don't want your money, Fatso. I want your life. Wait a minute. Shut your mouth. What's the matter with you? Are you crazy? Uh, you're the one that's crazy. You're not blind. You're not gonna be around long enough to tell anybody about it. <laughs> What's with you, kid? You're so corrupt, you can't see the light of day. <laughs> what makes you think you can take bribes from people to keep old rat traps like this open? Who <laughs> didn't pass judgment on the life of someone else, huh? Now that, that, my friend, is crazy. Who are you talking about? My old man. <laughs> you think you're so smart, don't you? Had to be head man on the jury, didn't you? Tell everyone else what to do. But now, you're going to be first again. You're going to beat that elevator to the bottom. <laughs> stage, please. Stand under two, three, and four. Look straight ahead. Put your hands down your side. Do you recognize any of these men? Write the number you see above his head on number the two men walk towards the officer and walk back to your spot. Number three, man. the opposite way. Number five man, walk the opposite way. You sure you've never seen any of these people before? I think I've seen one or two, but I'm not positive. Do you remember when? A long time ago. How about two years ago? That might have been when. That's a long time for a memory like mine. Homicide, Creason. Yeah, he's here. 
It's Mac. Seven down and seven to go. I'm halfway home. You're terrific. Well, I just thought you might like to know that. Is that all you called about? You know, Savage, you all really are stupid. I bet I could walk up to you on the street and ask you for a match. You still wouldn't know who I was, would you? Up yours, you sick. Oh, yeah. Your lady said to say hi. And I'll take really good care of her. Uh. Bye, Frankie. something wrong because he has to so you feel proud or guilty huh and if he doesn't want to get caught why does it give him so much pleasure to practically tell the police who he is If the police can punish the wrong people, why can't this man punish the right people? Huh? <laughs> if he hates niggers, why does he get all excited inside when he thinks about raping you? I'll tell you why. 
Her book is damp. Black is white. The goddamn world won't hold still long enough to make any sense of it. <laughs> you don't stop breathing like that. This damn shack's gonna explode. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. <laughs> I want you to know something before I make a woman out of you. You listening? What I would really like to do is I'd like to skin your black ass and make a drum out of it. <laughs> I'd hang your carcass up for the flies to go. Did you alive for a little while? That's if I that black pig of yours. <laughs> I just wanted you to know that. Because right now, you're going to start having your keep, you hear me, slut? Slut! For that thing out at the airport last month. No. 
You don't seem too happy about it. Not too happy about anything right now, Molly. You got a girl? Sorry. Forget it. Stinking job, anyway. You know, I don't see why you stick with it. You feel that way. I don't need it. Sure don't. Mac just called in. Victim number eight, an airline stewardess. He shipped her Air Express in a sealed trunk. They found her in Dallas, suffocated to death. I don't want to hear about it. It's your job. You damn well better hear about it. Tomorrow. Okay?
Son of a bitch. Savage. Good morning, nigga. Hello, trash. Watch your mouth, Savage. Where's my lady? Not yet, Savage. Not yet. <laughs> now, look, man. Are you going to push your luck just a little too far? <laughs> if I wanted you dead, Savage, I wouldn't have missed. I just wanted you to know that I'm smarter than you are. This is just another call so you can jerk off, baby. Forget it. You're going to listen to me, pig. Because it's your job, and I'm a taxpayer. Hello? Don't hang up on me, you black bastard. Son of a bitch! Wasting my goddamn time, unless you can tell me where my lady is. I'm sick of your jive ass bullshit. I'm gonna kill you, savage. You hear me? I'm gonna blow your slimy guts out. Now listen, carefully. I've only got time to tell you once. I'm on my way to kill the most important person next to you. Are you ready? Go on. Another date. April 22nd, 1972. Savage. She's real good for a nigger. Bye-bye. Alexander Crowder. Son of a bitch! Police Department. This is Savage. Give me research. Research? Can I help you? This is Savage. Got a priority job for you. You need the answers right away. Go ahead. I wanted to check up on the murder trial of Milton Alexander Crowder. That's C R O W D E R. He was arrested in the fall of 71. Convicted, I think, uh, April 22nd, 1972. Need to know his status. Okay, now I need you also to take all the victims in this Mac murder series, run them through the computer of the courthouse. See, they don't all tie in with this Crowder trial. I'll hold. Push it, will you? Milton Alexander Crowder, sentenced to the electric chair. Died three months ago of natural causes while in prison. Crowder had three children. Two daughters married and living out of the city. Son named Hector. Age 27. He has an arrest record. Two assaults. Various misdemeanors. Never did time on any of these charges. Eight of the victims in the Mac murders were involved in the Crowder trial. The only remaining local resident involved in the trial is Judge Kelly. an old man with your damned help, didn't you? You know he didn't deserve to die. 
All I did was try his case and follow the law. But you killed him anyway. I had nothing to do with his death. No one did. He died of natural causes while in prison. You locked him up. You killed him anyway. Sentenced him. You put him there to die. You did. Dude. Damn. another man to their death. I didn't say yes, you did. Thought I got one person left. Smelly pig sandwich. I've forgotten all of your court cuts. All the jurors. That stupid lawyer. He was supposed to help my dad. Get you. Oh, for God's sake. the judge's house, we'd be rid of this bastard by now. But oh no, you always have to do things your way, don't you? I'm ready to take that badge and shove it up your ass. But the mayor wants you on this case. He likes you for some reason. Must be the votes. But don't get me wrong, Savvy. This is still my police department, and I'll run it as I see fit. You are your partner here for one more stunt like this, and out you go. Wilson didn't have anything to do with it. 
He hasn't been any gem either. This is your last warning, both of you. Is that all? Sir. Yes, that's all. Frank Savage is the best detective you've got. Nobody wants this killer more than he does. Sir. Guys, give me some cover. Put it on the back and get his ass. Hey, Marty. Yeah. Get that bullhorn. Try to talk him down. Keep his attention. I just got 
got you. What the hell happened? Some punk trying to get his rocks off. You killed him. Sure I killed him. You wasted that man. Any man who points a gun at me, his ass going to have his head blown off. Well, I'm going to have to explain this to the chief. Only this time, I don't think it can be explained. Well, that's your goddamn problem. I'm going to give you something that's both our goddamn problem. I just got another note from Mac, and you get your ass to headquarters. And don't you even breathe unless I tell you to. And before you leave, clean up this goddamn mess. Let me have your bottle. Yeah. Care to join me? No, thanks. What time are you supposed to call? 1 a.m. What did he say? Just that he wanted to make a deal with you now. now listen, Bob. You let me handle this. Okay. In what way? In every way. We've got to go by the book, Frank. Look, just let me handle it, all right? When it's over, if you don't like it, you, you're going to have my badge. Okay? Don't blow it. Homicide. Savage. Yeah. He wants your pretty little blackbird bag. Go on. He's gonna cost you. I'm listening. Good for you, Carl. You're not as stupid as I thought. Now, here's what I want, nigga. I'm gonna take your lady friend here and cut her all four ways. You understand me? Yeah, I understand. I'm proud of you, Blackie. Now listen, listen good. I want a private plane and pilot, ready to take me wherever I want to go in two hours. Where are you going? I'm not going to tell you. Just make sure that plane has enough fuel to take me wherever I want to go. Okay. Now, where is she? No, no, no. Not yet. Not until I'm in the airplane. Then I'll tell you where she is. Now, you listen to me, you punk. She'd better be alive. Now, you hear me? Or you won't be able to run far and fast enough. Now, you understand me? <laughs> She's okay. Just no more slip-ups. Remember, you kill me, and you'll never find her. You got that nigger boy. It's your game, baby. I'll be in that tower where I can see you and talk to you. He wants a private plane and a pilot in two hours, or he'll kill her. I can't authorize that. Frank, wait a minute. I want you to stay out of this, Marty. No way, baby. We're partners. Somebody might get hurt. I'm sure. Okay. I'm going up in the tower. Keep the engine running. All right. Yeah. 
percentage. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> You've been a good nigga. I'm really proud of you. Where is she? You know, Savage, after due consideration, I've decided not to tell you.
sick son of a bitch. With your game, baby. It's over, baby. It's all over. It's over. It's all over. Oh, I was so afraid. You okay? Yes. Let's go home. Thank you. 